morning guys! So today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be doing a Sunday reset. Deep clean, deal. declutter, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. The reason why today's going to be a bigger clean up is that we are going to be skadoodling back to Australia in like March. six weeks? Yeah, start of March. Got back from the gym, on our way back we picked up some washing and a couple of groceries. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. groceries, yeah. Without further ado, we're going for it. So obviously any that we've already read or we don't think we'll be able to read in the next six weeks, we're just gonna put into a bag to pack to go. All of these going in the bag. And done. Woohoo! Yeah, she's looking fresh. I uh, pillowcase back. And this is what I'm using for my current pillowcase. Nice. <laughs> it's a t-shirt. <laughs> so all this up here is mine and I only wear about one quarter of it. Next up, under the kitchen. So in here is honestly just water bottles, gas canister, and toaster situation that we've used once. Rice cooker, spare water bottles. Tissues, I keep these for if you're going out for a day trip in Bali, you'll always stop at like a bouquet or an Indomar, something like that. You're going to use the toilet and they won't have toilet paper. So, ladies, take your tissues in your handbag. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a hat hoarder. <laughs> it's an ongoing issue that I don't know how to fix, nor do I want to fix, so... And I only wear like two of them. This is the tech corner. This is where <laughs> the magic is meant to happen, but we don't actually use a lot of it, so. The messiest part of our house. <laughs> yeah. Most of that can be packed away. This is a $550 gimbal. I've used it twice. Stay tuned for the video where we talk about top 10 or 11 tips for starting a YouTube channel. We talk about equipment and we pretty much say like, just because you have the gear doesn't mean you're gonna use it. Point and case. Getting packed away. All right, so this is the tech corner now. That's our little charging dock station for our phones. So far that's the two pack away. Do RDLs. <laughs> Alrighty, next up, my bedside table because I'm the king and Stevie does not get a bedside table. Uh, it's kind of just full of random shit at the moment, except for our passport, it's quite important. Egypt, a little freebie from some Egyptian guy. Got my Kindle. Bro, if you're a hardcover book person, I used to be, but I leveled up. I'm a Kindle boy now. And I'm gonna be naughty here and say that I download all the books for free. Obviously, this is a quick work, pretty much every single day. Always look. 
looks messy because there's just so much stuff on here, but it's like stuff we actually need. Bro, look at this mouse. Why does someone need that many buttons? Like that's excessive, right? It's because Judge motherfucking. It's because my here. my boyfriend's a gamer. He also bought this mouse pad. It is so unnecessarily large. Like who is doing this with their mouse? And also, why is it so ugly? Yeah, it looks like old like shark skin or something. Like who else thinks there's something so therapeutic about lifting everything off, wiping it all down? My favourite part of the house is the workstation. Shwala. This is as clean as it gets. <laughs> I'm having my coffee yet. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, get rid of some of this soy sauce. Nick's a hat holder. I'm a soy sauce holder, apparently. No, not just soy sauce. We've got four ketchup sachets that we never use because ketchup is I used one last night. Whatever Why? the fuck that is. What's ketchup? Cinnamon sugar? Cinnamon sugar. More cinnamon sugar. Uh, yes. Two the things of garlic granules. Seven from? cups of soy sauce. And look at this. Wait, wait, look at this. A whole thing of soy sauce. Maybe I can condense the soy sauce as well. Check out this, I mean, it looks a bit chaos up there, but. As good as it gets. With that. Oh, so satisfying. Not really much going on in there, but still got to yeah. do the bins. Um, okay, we really don't have a lot going on, as you can see in our freezer, that's for sure. Okay, so this is our fridge. Look, it's pretty barren. I think it's pretty standard for people living here in Bali. Got some bananas that I'm going to make a banana bread with today. Uh, we've just got one beverage. That was when we first got to Bali. So yeah, it's literally been in five months. We've never touched it. So going to tell our honey oats. We make oats every morning. That is veggies. I know it looks so gross, but it's just veggies. And then yeah, just some little tiny butters, jam, and aioli. How like wind up these juice boxes are. Mm -hmm. Juice boxes. What are we at primary school? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, there's ants all over that. Yep. Done. There's one thing I recommend when riding a scooter around in bus because you will always get debris and dust and shit in your eyes. Get a helmet with a face shield. If you can't get one with a shield, get some glasses and sunnies or a visor. I'm just going to put into the bag to be taken back to Australia. We just don't really like go out and like get dressed up and stuff that often. Or if we do, I, I have like my go-to things that I always wear because it's just like comfortable and like because it's so hot here. But, like I just want to wear like comfy like long you know what I mean like high-waisted pants and like just like a crop top or like a singlet or something these tops that are a bit more like goey outy dinnery vibes put away I'm not wearing Every time I swept one stroke, it would just bring out more dirt. And the bloody end of this thing is wet. So it would just like clump the dirt and it wouldn't do anything. So that was a bit of a flop. All right, so swept the little back out area. It's not very big, but um, 
I think I'm gonna give it a hose. I'm gonna give it a try with a hose. Bloody hell, it's right there. That's the Changu shortcut right there, so it's just so busy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a hose and see how that goes. I haven't done that before, but YOLO, it's pretty wet here anyway. Um, probably from the rain. This is our lawn. Um, the bike's there just for a little bit because I'm cleaning the area where the bike sits, but the grass is actually so long and we don't have a lawnmower and no one comes to mow the lawn. So, yeah, stay tuned to what we do with that. And it's like tiny, tiny squeegee, so let's give it a go. Well, it seems to be working. It's just taking a little while because it's all banked up. I think that was more successful than I thought. Happy with that. Mine's what we're gonna do. What? The bathroom. Oh yeah, that's the last job. <laughs> the bathroom is the worst because it gets no natural sunlight. You can't sweep it. You've got to like just hose the whole thing down. And also at the moment, our drain broke before we left. So it gets stinkier than usual. We clean it like every single week, usually every Friday, we go through and scrub it. Steve has done a sweep. This is what we're working with. Yeah, every second day we sweep. And we obviously don't have a Dyson here in Bali. Oh, Dyson would be mint. I'd vacuum daily. It's like, where does it all come from? Like, and it's annoying because the broom is so little. It's like, it's like, it's a, like a putt putt size. Yeah, it's like a kid size broom. Yeah. That's a wrap. I think that was like a good, what, two hours? Three. Yeah, good three, three hours. hours of cleaning. So, yeah, awesome. We are going to take photos of the place because obviously we are leaving in like six weeks, six, seven weeks for our landlord so that she can advertise it. Yep. If you see this in the meantime and you're like, I want to live there, then drop us a comment or something and let that's her right. know. Um, and if they haven't found someone by then, then we'll obviously pass on your contacts. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed this. I don't know, it's sort of like an ASMR sort of thing. I love it. I love watching people yeah. clean. It just feels I good. can't say I've done it, but do. hopefully you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I know she does. Um, and hopefully it's motivated you guys to do a deep clean of your own house, your own space as well. So, mm. 2024, New Year, deep clean, mm. fresh space. Maybe this is a sign to have a cleanse. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you Thanks. in the next one. Bye.